Liberals of the past make liberals of the day. And even tomorrow looks so much better, don't they? I mean, they had such a power over people where he could actually take over a nation in blood. It's like I said, politics is written in blood, right? It lines up with everything else. French Revolution, American Revolution. Oh, even the Dominican Republic. Going back to my roots. Juan Pablo Duarte. There's a lot to admit. Even going ahead past the times of destruction of colonialism. We've destroyed monarchy. We've there's a destruction of nationalism. There's a destruction of theocracy, of patriarchy. Of all these things you guys the people have destroyed. Um Leftists are a big deal in this, but in some ways, a lot of the right wing, significant portion of it has been subverted into doing this. I mean, hardworking people concerned with their own nation going off to World War II to face the wrong side. You gotta love the irony in that. What are we fighting for now, as a people? The left has started a civil rights movement, and it's non-violently fighting, or even violently, but the media won't report it. It successfully fought for things like making sodomy legal so gay guys won't go to jail anymore. It fought to desegregate in multiple nations. It's fought to make marital rape a thing in terms of feminism. But I'm just talking about stuff that came into fruition, at the very least, in the 90s. Now what are we fighting for? We, okay, we killed communism. We tried getting rid of capitalism, but all we've done is come up with a bizarro economic system that isn't going to satisfy anybody of any ideology. Or anyone grounded in reality, for that matter. So, not the centrists. Centrists are going to be happy. Because they hold on to an ideology that they don't even know. No one really calls themselves a centrist in the United States. Unless they're weird. And before Brian Carpen, actually. But he doesn't watch my videos. What else? So what do we fight for now? We fight for stuff like gay marriage. Because now sexuality is an identitarian thing. There's pedophile, there's gay, there's hippophile, there's straight. These are all things now. They're all concepts that people in the West latch onto. And it's really grounded outside of reality. But now, what do we have besides 
that, of course. In terms of the race side, we're constantly trying to deal with police brutality in regards to the legal system and making it a racial thing when now it's an everyone thing because of civil rights. I mean, really, Rodney King, Trayvon Martin, lots of people, well, races are dealing with the reaction of law enforcement, and it's because of the few. The few always, I guess you can call it the 70-30 effect, the few always do the most work out of the 100. Got 30% of population doing 70% of the work. Of course, that 30% would be the low IQ community. I'm left-handed, by the way, so when I look to the left, it means I'm telling the truth. I just want you to know that. I want you to catch me when I'm lying or making shit up, because when I look to the right, I'm making shit up. That's like the creative side of my brain, since I'm left-handed. See, I'm thinking right now, I'm trying to be creative. PIV, that's another big deal. Well, it's not really a big deal. What is a big deal is slut shaming, fat shaming. Basically, all these things for chicks. Oh, it's my body, I can do what I want for the abortion. But then, at the extreme Tumblr outer limits, it's even crazy in Tumblr is PIV. And Dysis gone. All this other stuff. That's of another level. Transracialism. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to speak about that because that's not practical. That goes beyond the sacred cow because not even the Brahmins are going to uphold that as a concept. I mean, to me, when I look at the modern gay guy, I just see a beta male. I mean, they do everything beta males do. They supplant their actual philosophical or intellectual, even personal viewpoints. To be overprotective white knights for females. Being the gay best friend is just another friend zone, really. And that's that's kind of tragic. The only thing worse than that view of no girlfriend is that. That feel with no girlfriend, and I have to keep pointing out that I like dick. That's like two weights to hold on to in excess for no reason. Makes no sense. Why bother? It's not that big of a deal. So what is leftism going to continue to fight for? Because you notice, the more I speak about these things, the more trivial they sound. Nationalism, imperialism, of a mercantilistic side, and any side that isn't for democracy or something of that nature. All these things. Monarchy, patriarchy. theocratic rule, the concept of God and King having some form of connection. That's all that's all done with. And now 
maybe in 20 years, we're going to be talking about, maybe not 20, a little less than that, and it's probably not even going to happen. We're going to be talking about PIV, penis and vagina, that all sex involving penis and vagina is rape. Um, okay. It's more interesting and humorous than the gender pronoun thing. I mean, XE. I don't even know what to do with that. Anyways, Mr. Rocka 7. Hope you guys enjoyed this video because I know I didn't. And respect the king.